Welcome back guys. We are here to do another video. We're talking a little bit more about the High Limit Racing schedule for 2024. We're going to break it down a little bit more. Uh, there are 60 races on the schedule. Right now there is one to be determined race. So right now 59 scheduled races and we have every track broke down uh, to its track size. Now a lot of these sizes, I'm sure there's going to be some people on there that are like, hey, that's my hometown track and I know it's not a quarter mile. Uh, well, and it's hard to find sometimes if the track doesn't have its website updated or if the track has no website at all. Um, I'm going off of different websites that might have the information wrong, uh, but for a lot of them, I'm scrolling through. And if I see a couple of them that say it's a three eighths, then I'm going to go with a three eighths mile racetrack. So I want to mention that there could be some that are wrong on here. And some people might say that I'm wrong. Uh, it is sometimes very tough to find this information. Uh, so I just wanted to put that out there real quick. So We'll start off with the half mile racetracks that uh, we'll be running this year with High Limit. Uh, the first one on the list is Fonda Speedway up in New York. Right after that, another New York track. It's on the same weekend at Utica Rome. Uh, we have five races at Port Royal Speedway in Pennsylvania this year. Also have four races on the half mile at Eldora Speedway in Ohio. Uh, Florence in Kentucky, uh, that track more known as a late model track, but we'll go there with the sprint cars. And then we have three races at the I-70 Motorsports Park in Missouri. So that is a total of 15 races on the half miles, equating to 25% of the schedule will be on a half mile racetrack. Jumping into the one third mile speedways, East Bay, obviously that's the very first race of the year. We go there twice. Grandview, that's one of the midweek money series races. We go there one time in Pennsylvania. Eagle, Nebraska, that's gonna be one I'm very excited to get to for the first time. Also, the Lake Ozark Speedway in Missouri, Thunderbolt Raceway in California. So on the one-third mile side of things, only six races on the one-third mile racetracks. That is 10% of the high limit racing schedule. Four-tenths miles, so back into the bigger side of racetracks here. Golden Isles in Georgia. That is a, a two-race series there, two, two dates for racing on a Thursday and then on a Saturday kind of with the Lucas Oil Late Models, that's going to be the third and fourth races of the season. Uh, Texas Motor Speedway, that we have three uh, dates there at Texas Motor Speedway. That is a four-tenths mile as well. Lakeside Speedway, two races there. Lernerville Speedway, a couple of races there as well. I want to say three at Lernerville. And then back to New York for Outlaw Speedway. So for the one, or sorry, for the four-tenths mile ovals, 11 races on the schedule for them at 18% of the entire schedule. Now, getting into the quarter mile side of things, so the smallest racetracks we'll go to throughout the year, Riverside in Arkansas, Texarkana 67 in Arkansas, RPM Speedway in Texas, Kokomo, Indiana, Davenport, Iowa, Placerville Speedway in California, Silver Dollar Speedway also in California, and the probably the track that I'm looking forward to the most uh, personally, and that is Red Dirt Raceway in Oklahoma. So quarter miles, 10 races for them at 16% of the schedule. Now, three eighths miles, I do love quarter miles, but if you had to ask me which track size puts on the best racing 410 sprint cars with a wing on top, I am going to go with three eighths. It's the perfect size, gives you a lot of speed, and it also gives you the, the smaller of, smaller end of it for some sliders and uh, all the good stuff there when it comes to sprint car racing that we all love. I think three eighths miles uh, deliver that more often than not than the rest of these um, these sizes of racetracks. So in the 3 8 mile side of things, we've got Southern Oklahoma Speedway, the Salina High Banks, 34 Raceway in Iowa, Tri-City Speedway in Illinois, Lawrenceburg, Indiana, that's going to be one of the ones I'm circling on my list, uh, 81 Speedway in Kansas, Atomic, uh, Skagit, we go there for three nights of action, 100000 to win there, Butler Motor Speedway in Michigan, Lucas Oil Speedway in Missouri, also Portsmouth in uh, Ohio. Is it Portsmouth or Portsmouth? I think I'm going to go with Portsmouth uh, in Ohio. King Speedway or Colorado Speedway, the, the former name of it there in, in Hanford, California. Douglas County Dirt Track in Oregon and Grace Harbor Speedway, uh, Grace Harbor Raceway, I should say, in Washington. So the 3 8 miles, 17 races, making up 28% of the schedule. Now, I know a lot of people don't really like the bigger sized racetracks, the half miles, the four tenths. Honestly, when I think of like Lernerville, I feel like it's not a big racetrack. Uh, it might look like it, but I feel like it races like a small track, but uh, four tenths is considered pretty big, I would say. So if you take the four tenths mile and the half mile, you combine their percentages together here on this little 
uh, table here, and it equates to 43% of the schedule is on bigger racetracks, meaning 57% of the tracks are smaller than a half mile or a four tenths mile oval, which gets me very excited. I think sprint cars on small racetracks, that is my cup of tea. That is what I love watching the most. And I think it provides the most action. Obviously we get some great races at Port Royal, some great races at Eldora. And I can't wait to get some of these new tracks. I mean, a lot of these places I've never even been to before. Florence, Utica Rome, Fonda, Gold Miles, Texas, uh, Outlaw, never been to any of them. So I don't know how they race. Uh, but, you know, we do get some great racing on the bigger racetracks, but in just my opinion, I love the three-eighths, the quarter miles, the one-third miles, the smaller racetracks, I think is what really puts on a great show for the fans. So, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video, a little bit of a shorter video we've got for you today, breaking down the track sizes that you'll see this year with the High Limit Sprint Car Series and kind of giving you an idea of how, just how much they make up of the schedule. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. We are super close to a thousand subscribers. Once again, I want to thank all of you guys for that. And uh, we'll have another video coming out here soon, previewing uh, the first race of the season at East Bay Raceway Park. Just waiting to see who else is going to be showing up there that is a non-full-time or a non-high roller. And then we will get that video out to you probably middle of next week. I'm going to try and fit another video there in there somewhere along the way as well. So Thank you guys for all the support, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.